Hey guys, Trouble T Cat here, recording for the Zombie Arcade. Today we're taking a look at an F2000 close range loadout, but mostly I want to talk about the TAC White in this game, which you'll notice I haven't used that in any attachment loadouts just yet. By the way, I'll mention real quick, I cut out a couple of my deaths in this game, cut things down a little bit more than I normally would, because it was a 17, 18 minute long game. So uh, I cut it down pretty hardcore to, uh, to get it down to 10 minutes or so. Anyway, You'll notice I haven't been using the Tack White, and uh, that's that's because I think it's pretty overpowered. It's going to get toned down in the patch, uh, and then I think it'll be okay to use. Cons consider this for sort of posterity's sake, because right now I can't in good conscience recommend the Tack White at all. I feel like it's a little bit too powerful. But I do want to talk about um, how to use it effectively for those of you that, uh, that do like using it, that don't mind using it, and how to use it without pissing off your own team, uh, because you'll see, and it happens to me in this very game, I get blinded by teammates attack white to all kinds of fuckery. So, basically, if, if you're gonna use the attack white, uh, which, which you shouldn't do right now, but after the patch I'm sure it'll be fine, you wanna be really, really careful to make sure that you're not blinding your teammates, because there's nothing more annoying than being blinded by your teammates, and especially in hardcore mode, if you run around blinding your teammates, your teammates are gonna TK you, uh, and I mean, here, I, in this game, I spray bullets into a couple of teammates with attack lights because I don't realize they're on my team. I see a fucking blinding white light and I fire bullets wildly into it because it's my only hope of survival. When blinded by attack white is really just to sort of spray at the source of the light of a thousand suns, which is currently blinding your dick. So, the very first thing you do when you spawn with attack white is turn your motherfucking attack white the fuck off. And you're gonna leave that baby off until you get into a situation we're not going to be in danger of blinding teammates. So I've got it on right now, and you'll notice that there's no teammates anywhere in front of me. I'm just shooting down a narrow alleyway where the enemy can come from, and when I fall back a bit, I do turn it off. Like, it's off now, so I'm not blinding my teammate accidentally who's, uh, who's next to me there. And that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. You know, you just gotta... If you're gonna use this attachment, you have to make sure that you're very, very disciplined about keeping it off when it should be off, which is almost all the time, and only turning it on when you actually... Uh, when it's actually going to give an advantage and when it's not going to inconvenience your own team. And that's 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 pretty much what it comes down to. Also, be very careful about sprinting with this thing on. It goes fucking everywhere when you're sprinting. Uh, and it'll give your position away and it'll blind your teammates if they happen to be looking anywhere remotely in your general direction. It's, it's like a fucking sweet rave party flying out of the end of your gun when you're sprinting, especially on, on pistols. Uh... And, and, you know, that may sound like something that's fucking awesome, but believe me, you don't actually want that. Sweet rave party guns are, uh, are pretty overrated. So, aside from that, uh, what, what's the deal with this loadout? Well, as I was talking about the other day, the F2000 has a nice fast rate of fire, not super high damage, maybe not the best range in the world, but a really fast rate of fire and low recoil. I'd normally recommend running maybe heavy barrel to increase the base accuracy, or a laser sight, or a suppressor on this setup, but I did want to talk about that tack light. Uh, the, the hollow sight and the foregrip, obviously both just really good close range attachments. The laser sight's particularly good on this gun. Uh, I mean, it's got decent hip fire accuracy to start with, accuracy to start with, and when you put the laser sight on there, it's just very accurate from the hip, and uh, you can spray dudes down at close range very, very effectively. Which is, uh, which is good. I'm gonna do one more video for the F2000 after this one, where I'm going to sort of show my go-to setup. Ah, uh, this was, this was a shame. I missed that that guy was arming the bomb. And it looks like the sound in this recording is slightly out of sync. That shouldn't have happened, damn it! Hmm. I guess I still got some kinks to work out with my recording setup. Not too bad at the moment, at least. And uh, so, so that's about it. I'm gonna do one more for the F2000. Oh man, I'm AN94 is after this. I'm not looking forward to that. Sad face. So many sad faces. I don't even know where that dude was. Sniped the fuck out of me. I got killed by snipers a couple of times there. Th oh no, that's later on. I, I cut out some uh, some deaths to snipers. Oz. <laughs> this guy. I don't know what he was doing. He was crouching there. Staring at me, and uh, I also don't know why I didn't manage to kill him. It was kind of a tragedy that I was not quite able to kill even after rolling my handgun there, and I do end up getting killed. And you're gonna get to see what attack fight looks like when it's aimed at you. Even at that distance, uh, I got a couple hit markers there, but I just I couldn't see where the fucking guy was. It made it really really hard. So I cut out a big chunk of gameplay there. We lost both those MCOMs. 
pretty quick. We uh, push back to the next set. We do end up holding them off here. And uh, this is this is where I sort of get my best work done for the game on this objective phase. I kill uh, I kill quite a lot of dudes, as you're about to see. So again, here, you know, they're close to me. Switch the tack light on when I leap up and shoot them and then turn it off. Like, I don't have it on right now because I'm doing long range stuff. You just got to be really disciplined. What I would really recommend people do is uh, bind the key to turn on and off your attack light slash laser sight to a mouse button. Uh, you know, if, if you've only got three mouse buttons, like like most normal people, bind it to your mouse wheel button. It's not normal use for anything. You can also, I mean, it can also be good to put, like, spot on there or, uh, or something else, but if you're going to rock attack light or a laser sight on a regular basis, you really want that on a mouse key, so you can switch that easily. Personally, I've got fire mode on my mouse wheel, and I've got attack light uh, slash laser sight assigned to one of my other mouse buttons. That's probably the ideal setup if you've got a gaming mouse is just try and condense all your gun functions onto the right hand so that you can really, really easily uh, swap those things on and off, toggle your fire modes, that kind of stuff is uh, is super nice. It's so nice. I really like the hollow sight in comparison to the red dot sight for the US. And just in general, I tried to revive that guy, but I couldn't quite get in the sweet spot. My teammate runs me like, I, I got this, I got this. And he does eventually got that. I don't know why I couldn't revive him and put that guy futurize as well. Sometimes the defibrillators are kind of wonky, if you haven't already noticed. What we have if you play the Assault in this game at all. Uh, I'm going to mention briefly, the MP443 is a fucking boss pistol. Check this out right here. Fucking double kill. One of, the, one of them's headshot. I get one of the guys in the chest and kill him. Uh, the, the 1911, the Magnum... Glock 17, G18, those are all good, but for me, I don't know, uh, like, I I've tried out all the pistols really extensively, MP412 Rex is, is another one, and the 93R, and, uh, the 93R is really nice as well, but I keep coming back just to these starter pistols, the, uh, the MP443 especially, and the M9 is not half bad either, they just feel like the most balanced pistols, they got good, good rate of fire, Good sized magazines, and they do more damage than you would expect for for nine millimeter handguns in comparison to the other guns in this game. Anyway, pick up. I was actually out of bullets for my F2000. That's why I was getting those pistol kills and why I picked up this engineer kit. I don't keep this for long though, because that motherfucking lav really ruins my day in just a second here. I I do think he he failed really badly at killing me there, and I do actually manage to disable it though because he could not he could not hit for shit, Captain. You guys eventually end up blowing up. Always good to throw nads in those windows if you see dudes on your radar. Again, see, teammate there blinding me with attack light. That's who I was shooting at. If this was hardcore, that guy would be fucking dead. You have to be really careful. I've been playing hardcore a fair bit lately. You have to be really careful, especially in hardcore, to not get team killed. And to be honest, if a teammate team kills you because you're shining your attack light in their eyes, you're the asshole there, not the guy who TK'd you. Um... It's seriously, the tack light is, is just fucking, it's, it's overpowered against enemies and it's so incredibly frustrating for your team. I basically just made this video to say, uh, for, well first of all, don't use it at the moment because it's overpowered, but after the patch, hopefully everything will be fine in that regard. It won't blind you from 20 meters away in broad daylight. It's fine on the night maps, I guess, the way it is, and in dark areas, but it's just kind of ridiculous in these big outside areas. Anyway... Uh, first that, and secondly, if you do use the tack light now or after the patch, you just have to be really, really disciplined. You have to be really focusing on when you've got it on, when you've got it off, to make sure you're not blinding your teammates and you're not giving your own position away is also important. And if, if you don't want to have that extra thing to think about, if you don't want to be really sort of disciplined about keeping your tack light on and off, really having that always in the back of your mind, making sure to turn it off if you're aiming at a teammate, etc., etc., you just shouldn't use it at all, uh, now or after the patch, because it's going to be a detriment to you and to your team. Uh, you because you'll give your position away, and your team because you'll blind them and make them unable to totes kill the enemy. Live, Billy! Unfortunately, my pistol could not save me there. It popped him a few times in the chest, but was not able to kill. I think this is, yeah, I think that's my last kill of the game. I, th I think it's pretty much over here. Oh yeah, they have one life left. So, that's that game, folks. Thanks for watching. As always, let me know what you thought of the video. My, uh, my stats screen will be left in here for those of you who are interested. 
I'm going to upload Call of Cthulhu today. I've been streaming The Witcher 2 a little bit lately, so uh, tune in to live stream if you're interested in that. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Triple T Cat out.